Hello everyone and welcome to this GetSight Control tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to set up launchers for your widgets. In other words, I'll show you how to set up a widget to open another one. Um, so for example, you can have a small floating button always inside on your website that when clicked opens a bigger pop-up form. It can be a contact us button opening a contact form, for, for example, or any other kind of form. For that, we'll need two widgets. Widget A, the floating button or launcher, and widget B, our pop-up form. In this case, it's going to be a contact form, but it can be any other type of form, as I said. So first of all, we're going to set up widget A to open widget B. So I'm going to open widget A. As you can see, widget A is a small floating button at the bottom of the screen, and it doesn't have any buttons on it. Um, so we're going to assign the action to open widget B to the background of the widget so that when people click anywhere on the widget, they're going to open the pop-up form. To do that, we're going to visit the container section where we have the background click option. We're going to remove the default option and open URL action. And we're going to add uh, a show widget action. And from the list, we are going to choose widget B, our pop-up form. All right, so anytime someone clicks anywhere on uh, the floating button, they're going to show widget B. Now we're going to save and close this widget and we're going to open widget B. We'll go straight to the targeting tab. Um, here, as you can see, I have my IP address, but that's just because I want to be the only one seeing the widget on our website when we're going to test uh, the launcher later on. You don't need to add that. Uh, from the start displaying widget, we're going to remove any conditions that we may have here. So I'm going to remove the automatically condition so that the widget won't appear on the site automatically because we're going to trigger it programmatically with widget A. I'm going to save and close this one as well. And I'm going to activate both widgets so that we can see them on our website where we are now going to check them out. So to see these two widgets, we need to reload the page or visit a different page. I'm going to the templates page just to show you. Here we have widget A, our launcher, and when clicked, it shows our contact form. And that's it. Now go set up launchers for your own widgets.